My name is Christopher Brown. I'm a psychic medium. I first discovered my abilities through paranormal investigation. Ever since then, I've dove in headfirst, trying to get answers about the paranormal, as well as giving people readings to let them know that their loved ones are okay and that they're still around. Join myself and my friend Toby as we go to different locations to try to uncover the paranormal history behind certain locations with other teams. I've been doing a lot of self-healing and a lot of soul-searching, you could say, and that's what this show is about. My name is Christopher Brown, and this is Soul Searching. Tonight, we're traveling to Harrisville, Rhode Island, to the farm on Round Top Road. But you probably know it by a different name. The Conjuring House. Yep, the house that inspired the movie The Conjuring. This one's going to be fun. room like just like puking up making stains all over himself Harry or Harold I don't know if that name makes more sense but... they're like silently observing almost like they're like trying to get the feel of what everybody is doing here and they're like not really sure what is going on mm-hmm Can you guys touch this light here? Just to let us know you're here. Did you see that too? Yes. Something just crossed in front of you. Yeah. I saw a black light go out the black out the, the light underneath the door. Oh, because I just saw Well I like I just saw like a mist go in front of you heading this way towards that door. Yeah. Oh shit. I saw like I was looking down at the light and then I saw that. Oh, that was gone. Okay, that was me. Um, there was just a mist this way, and then you said this uh, light get blocked it. Did you catch that? The mist? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I mean, it looked to me like a mist. Um, Somebody who is related to them also hangs out here to keep them safe. Just like, I don't know, I'm feeling like like fallen brother and then somebody watching over this house. I don't feel like there's anything bad here though. That's the, that's the crazy thing. You? Um, in that last room over, it mm-hmm. feels darker. Yeah. Anybody up here? Luke? He did say that, uh, Remember that kid was saying that there was something there? I wonder if I put this over here. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, there it is. That's that little kid who's like hiding out. It's only like, it's little. And he's just a little guy. Look at him. <laughs> he's like his head's down almost. But, but like, how, how would it be reading that, you know what I mean? Well, because I thought it was getting that post, but that was away from the post. It was in the middle of it. So it's kind of like... Like was, coming up the stairs. Like, yeah, it was coming up the stairs, but he was... Like his head was down. Like he was just kind of doing this. Like he was in trouble. Like someone sent him to the room. Ah, see, and I got goosebumps right here. Look at it. There's some like, somebody commit suicide in this house? Somebody committed suicide in this house. Yeah. They slipped their wrist wide open, didn't they? 
I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure somebody committed suicide. I'm not sure how they did it. But that's not even connected to the movie. No. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, I feel like they fucking splayed them, like slipped themselves wide open. You get a name? The name? (laughs) Oddly enough, it was, uh, it's like a J name, like Jeff. Like first name, Jeffrey or Jeff. Yeah, I'm almost feeling like it was a male energy. There's two people up here and I, they're like scrambling, they're like scurrying to try to get something done really, really fast. There's like a sense of urgency in this room. that? sense of hurrying and, and, and rushing in this room like somebody's just trying to like frantically trying to like figure things out and get things done it's funny because I wrote hello Ray in that sand threat 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 no. threat yeah can you tell us what kind of a threat there was in this room like what made you guys hurry around like that wasn't ready. They were hurrying to... So the wife wasn't ready. Someone died during childbirth too, right? He said they were delivered babies up in this room. Mm. Does that make sense? That would make sense to me, yeah. So like you know that that kind of information is connected here? I don't know. Oh, okay, that's kind of what it meant. Yeah. It's almost like someone there's a lot of, like, oh, man. You know, people don't talk about what's going on outside either. Like, I feel like there was a lot of shit that happened outside that nobody talks about. Like, some serious, like, I'm like sacrifice shit. Like, some old paganistic, like, witchcraft ritual stuff. I almost feel like somebody, like, I don't, I don't know, people say different things about portals and stuff. But like a long time ago, I almost feel like some sort of a portal was opened up in this area and then they just built around it and then it kind of, you know, for lack of a better phrasing, conjured up something. You know what I mean? Can you confirm that? Can you say yes or no? The first word you said on here was yes. Can you say that again if that's true or no if it's not true? Joshua just now. You had a J name earlier too, right? Yeah. It was like a Jeffrey one that's connected to that suicide thing, but I'm just asking now. I heard like a Joshua. Was that a fire? I think so. Yeah, it sounded like one. Energy is heavy in here right now. Can you feel that? Mm-hmm. Somebody just came in too, like another another spirit that said they weren't always here. They haven't always been here. They oh man. Who was that YouTuber kid? Something's here with him. Something followed him back here. Do you want to find him and tell him that? You want him? Seth. Seth? I'm trying to figure out who it is. See if they can tell me so we can go up to him and be like, hey, did you know that someone so followed you here? They that keep him safe, though. What's that? Hmm? What were you going to say? I said. Just now? Crap. It's hard for me to see because it's late. 
noise. It's, not the fucking... it's moving. Yeah, that's not from people downstairs either. It's fucking moving. Holy... What the fuck is you that? You see that, right? Yes, on the ceiling. Yeah. Is it from the, the reflection of the grate? No, because you see it was like moving independently. I don't even see it now. Do you see anything now? Yep, it's still there. I'm having a hard time because of this light off this. Let's see if I, uh... Is it moving? Dude. Dude. Huh. I just heard laughing behind me. Oh, shit. Giggling. It's the Christmas tree. Huh? It's the light from the Christmas tree. All right, well that's good, but I just <laughs> heard that giggling behind me, like a little kid giggle. Oh man! What the fuck? You guys are thinking this is funny, aren't you? Hours. Hours. H O U R S. Oh, hours. Hours. Does that bother you when I flash? No. You guys spend a lot of hours up here? Is there anybody who is angry here? Basement? Do you hear that? <laughs> There's also like, I feel like there's the spirit of a child showing me being locked into this room or locked out of it. Like they're trying to open the door and they can't. They're like sitting there like, let me in, let me in. Search. Search. Boy. Yeah, there's a boy spirit in here. Can you tell me about the baby that passed up here? Um, it said leave, I'm done. Oh. I didn't mean to upset you if I did, I apologize. <laughs> so I said leave! Yeah. Leave again. Wow, you guys not like us in this room? Yes. Is it Wowza? Who's here with us? The fucking Did you way. Hear that girl? Yes. Who's here with us? Girl. Yes. Hello. Holy crap. Dude, I'm like, holy shit. What did she say? Did she say hello? I think so. Hello. Hi. Hey, tell me if you guys heard that too. Yeah, I'm interested to know because I heard that. If you guys heard the, the little girl. Hello?
Was that Ava? I'm chills too. I know. Instant goosebumps. Are you coming down the stairs and see us? Door shut. That door shut. So yeah. So we would. I heard that like really clear. That was yeah. And everybody's upstairs right now. Everybody's on the third floor. We're in the basement. Well, no, I'm sorry. They're, they're technically on the second floor, and we're in the basement. Yeah. You know what's crazy too? Is like a lot of the times, like when I'm like connecting with spirit and stuff, they come through with, with different songs. And the one that I kept, or that I'm like hearing now, is a song by a band called The Zombies called A Rose for Emily. And it's like mm -hmm. a really sad song where they're talking about how you know this woman like creates all these roses for people and she gives her love to everybody else but no one gives a crap about her and so it's that, like constantly the theme is like there's not a rose for Emily you know she pours her heart into everything and she never gets anything back I wonder if that's connected to the little girl that's here like she felt like she gave so much and she never got anything returned and mm -hmm. so now she stays at this house like longing for that attention from people that she never got while she was here no I, I no I get it it's crazy, man. Oh, there's two seven. It's like when you back away and they light right up. Was I know that there was a suicide connected to this house, but there were there murders here too? That's a weird thing. Like I'm feeling like there was something like way back when, 17, 1800, where there was like somebody physically violent with another person that led to their passing. We just did a spirit box upstairs a minute ago on the Conjuring House number two video. I think it had it on. Yeah. Or something. We just had. We were there's a group of us up there with a spirit box going. This is a spirit box right here, actually. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can connect to that little girl. That's not my One of the things here in this house is the kids, the Karen girls, said they would see a woman with a crooked neck. And they actually have a Someone drew a picture of her. Someone drew a picture of her. In here. Uh, there it is. The woman with a no fucking way. Neck. That's from the original kids here? I don't know who, they don't know who made that very. Holy oh, shit, I got a picture of that. The woman with the crooked neck. I kept getting drawn to that. That's crazy. Look, there's another one. It was crazy. I kept getting drawn to like something being, like I kept looking up at the ceiling, but I kept feeling like there was something like written or drawn on one of the walls or something in here. And there it is. Hmm. It's weird. This it's changed. The smell changed right through here. It smells like oil. Uh, like, I don't know. Sulfury. Like, gross. Right? Um, it's kind of funny though, I mean, as we've been walking around, there's already been a female with you, like an older female with you connected to your mom's side, you know what I'm talking about? Like, she's talking about, this is somebody you would've, she would've passed when you were little, little. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, and, let's see. Was there a Beth in your family? That I know of. That would've been connected with her? Like a Beth or a Bethany? No, right. At least not that I would know of. All right. Um, this so far with the, the female on your mom's side and passing your young makes sense? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, she kind of watches over you. Okay. So you talk about like when you had an attachment or whatever, she kind of keeps that kind of shit at bay a little bit, or she tries to anyway, and she's kind of hanging out with you tonight to keep you from, keep that from happening to you again. Okay. Um, it's funny too. She's talking about uh, an aunt. You have an aunt that's in the spirit world as well? Yes. Yeah, so she's saying that she's with her. They're together, okay? And she wants you to know that they're together. Now, who, she would have, one of them would have passed from cancer, is that right? 
it would have metastasized into other organs. Like it started off, I feel like lungs, but then it would have moved on to other organs. Not one of them, but someone in my family did, yeah. Someone in your family did? Yeah. Okay, that they would have known and been connected to? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's not your aunt or your grandmother, though? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then they're probably telling you that they're together as well. All right? It's like a lot of people that you have kind of hanging out with you and keeping you safe. Okay. Um, that was a male who had that going on? Okay. Um, just know that they're all together, that they're all safe, okay? They're all kind of watching over you. They're, they're really proud that you started this YouTube channel too. Like that was something that they know you were terrified to do. They know you were like shitting a brick, like, should I do this? Should I not do this? And you did it and they're like wicked proud of you for it, okay? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yep. All right. Your aunt was really kind of like, she hung out with you a lot. Is that right? Like when you were younger, you spent a lot of time with her, she's saying. I probably did, but I don't remember. You don't I was remember? very young. But she does. And so she wants to say that she values that time. Okay? Um, she really kind of enjoyed the moments that she would have. She's seen she watched you grow, and it's really been a delight to see you do that. Um, you ever heard of spirit guides? Mm -hmm. So she's kind of a spirit guide for you. Okay? She's talking about mom as well. Mom's still here? Yeah, she is. But there's a distance between you guys. Is that right? Between me and my mom? Yeah. No. There's no, like, you guys don't have an emotional or physical distance between each other? I don't think so. Not lately. Not lately? There was at one time, though, correct? Yeah. Did you guys have, like, kind of like a butting of heads and kind of you separated a little bit and then you kind of made men's? Yeah. Okay. Um, just know that your aunt has kind of been watching over that whole process. Um, she's kind of, she understands it was more your mom's fault. Does that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like she doesn't always get stuff. Like she's you're, she's telling me that your mom could be a little bit bullheaded sometimes. Oh my gosh. And, <laughs> all right. And so she doesn't she doesn't want you to hold that against her. She's like, look, she was my sister. I dealt with it my entire life. Okay. But it's it was never a reflection of how much she cared for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, your mom, she's saying, definitely always loved you no matter what, unconditionally. It just didn't always kind of come across that way. Okay. Um, I'm gonna kind of with you for a little bit here. Um, you know, it's funny because, like, when people see, like, you know, say they see auras mm -hmm. or something like that. When I look at yours, it's it's kind of crazy. And I know, I know you're a guy and you might not want to hear this, but <laughs> Go <for> um, it. <laughs> I see I see pink with you. And what pink means for me is, like, there's that unconditional, like, love aspect to you. Like, you can literally look at somebody and not see them for what is on their skin, but for what is, like, inside of them, right? You don't really just kind of judge people based on, like, what the book of its cover. You know what I mean? You really kind of look into someone's soul. You look into someone's emotional standpoint and be like, okay, can I connect with this person on that level? And when you do, it's like, boom, unconditional. You're good. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like, you're very understanding and accepting of people regardless of what kind of they're going through or what they've been through. Right? Because um, you've been through some shit. Like, did you get bullied a lot when you were a kid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, but you've overcome all that. You've kind of, like, you're on the process of healing all that shit, right? Right. And so, like, you're kind of, your guides and you're, the, the people that you have in your family are really proud that you've overcome all that stuff. And that's where that unconditional aspect of it wasn't always like you had this kind of pink aura. You didn't always see people in that light, but it took a lot of work for you to get there, right? Mm -hmm. And now you're finally there. So I think what the messages from like your grandma, your aunt, you know, all these guys came through to just give you that encouragement and give you that hope and just say, keep going. You know what I mean? Keep doing what you're doing because you're doing great. And this is definitely going to be something that is going to um, be fulfilling for not only you, but for the people that you're, you're surrounded with, you know? So keep going. Um, just know that your grandma and your aunt are, are definitely by your side. They're keeping over you. They're watching over you and they're keeping you safe. Okay. And they love you. Very much important that they want me to tell you that they love you. You're welcome. How'd I do? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was really, really good. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks, man. Uh, thank you. Seth, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, and I'll tell you the same thing. If you'd like, there are certain people that you want to connect with. I can certainly try to do that, or I can just kind of give you what I can. Because, like, right now, I mean, as I can say, there's like a, a male energy that's coming through for you really, really strong. Um, this feels like somebody that would have been closer to your age almost. That would have passed in some sort of oh, very. That's, that's it. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, they're coming through to let you know that they're safe and that they're okay because this was like quick. This was like really, really fast. And like I don't know if it was an accident or an impact. If it was. It was an accident. Okay, it was an impact. Okay, so like they're talking about they're passing really, really fast. 
Okay, it was just like they were there and then poof, they were gone. But what they really wanted to know is like they didn't feel any pain. Like their spirit team came down and grabbed them and kind of picked them up and, and like kind of kept them out of their body. So they didn't experience any pain and they weren't in any sort of that thin sort of thing. But they're also acknowledging that it was just a little bit their fault. Does that make sense? It was. Yeah. So he's saying like, I own my shit. I own what I did. It was definitely my fault. And they were by themselves. Uh, no. No? Was the only person who died in the accident? Because they were talking about being singular. Um, no, it was two. It was two people? Yeah. Okay. Focusing on the one, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Did one of them live after the impact? Yeah. Okay, that's what they're talking about. So he died instantly, mm -hmm. and then the other person kind of... In the hospital. In the hospital, okay. Um, this was his girlfriend? Was one of them? Uh, no. Was it a female that was one of them? Mm -hmm. There's a female energy that they're talking about that's with them. Um, interesting. Okay, here's an interesting thing. Sometimes if I pick up on that kind of energy, was one of them a little effeminate? <laughs> and I don't mean to sound insensitive, but were they a little girly, like more attracted to men, that sort of a thing? Because they can definitely come through as a feminine energy, if that's the case. Because that's what they would have identified as, you know what I mean? Not necessarily, no. Okay. I'm also seeing one of them as being like, like green eyes, blonde hair. One of them, yeah. Okay. Um, they're just wanting you to know that they are okay. Okay. Um, and they're saying thank you for all the well wishes. Thank you for all the things that you said in their favor. Like you defended this person afterwards, and you like you tried to say like, no, it wasn't their fault, even though it really was. Does that sound right? Mm -hmm. um, so they want to thank you for that. They're like really appreciative that you kind of stood by them and, and kind of had their back through all that. Um, is there a Jason? That that J A kind of a I don't know what other names like J Jacob, Jason, that kind of thing. No. Good. Does the J make sense? And like I said, if it doesn't, don't force it. Mm -mm. Names can be kind of hit or miss. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's what they wanted to come through with. They wanted to come through with let you know that like, hey, they were safe. They didn't feel pain, and even though the other person was. They passed in the hospital. Um, they said that they were met by their loved ones, who were the first people to kind of reach down and grab them, pick them up, and go let them into the spirit world. Okay, um, they're sending their love with you. The reason why spirit comes through is because of that love. That that's what they live on now. Um, he also wants you to know that all the like burdens that he felt while he was here, totally gone. Um, they have a lot of depression, drinking, uh, drug addiction. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he wants you to know that like he's free of all that stuff. He's free of like the human stuff that like weighs us down. And he is now in what people would call heaven or what people would call that unconditional love. Okay. And he wants you to know that. Um, and he sends his love and he definitely wants you to know that he's okay and he's with you and he hangs out with you. Okay. He says thank you for talking to him here and there. You still kind of say like hey what's up? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Um, but he's like it's only at night time. <laughs> Like right before you go to bed, you're just like kind of like not not doing your prayers, but just being like, yeah. hey, you know, I hope you're okay. Night. Think it a lot, yeah. Think it, well, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. I mean, that's spirit uses our thoughts to communicate, mm -hmm. so that's exactly what he's doing. Mm -hmm. um, so he wants to thank you for acknowledging him still, and um, you've never gone to see him, his grave. You've never gone to see his site. He says it's okay if you want to do that. I know it's been hard, and I know that you've been really like wanting to, but it's been it's been too difficult. So he just is encouraging you to be like, hey, when you're ready. Like, I'd like you to do that. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. So he's sending his love and he wants you to know that he's okay. Alright? Sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that a lot, actually. You're welcome. Did you do it, Toby? Or is he reading you? What's that? Is Joe reading you? Or are yes. You? Yes, he is. I'm yeah. reading you. <laughs> um, you know, it's funny, too, because on the way up here, um, I usually do like a spiel. I call it a spiel. I'll do like, oh, I'll thank this person, that person, your spirit guides, the universe, blah, blah, blah. But my spirit guides were like, no, you need to just be able to do it. When I first saw you, there was a woman in spirit that was saying, thank you for being by my side when I passed. You know what I'm talking about? Somebody that you would have you would have been there, you would have held her hand, you would have watched her take her last breath. Two hours and 42 minutes. Not female. No? Again, does that energy kind of, it can kind of blend over, but... They're talking about you being there, you holding their hand while they passed, watching them take their last breath, and they're wanting you to know that because you did that, it helped them transition to the spirit world. Does that make sense? Not for female. But for male it does? Yeah. Was this male, like I said, with her, Was he? could he be a little kind of feminine or anything like that? No. Nothing like that? No. Okay. Um, 
So I'll admit that if I got that wrong, yeah, you know, I'll call my bullshit if I if I yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> but what the important thing is is this this miss this man wants you to know that he that meant a lot to him. Okay. Okay. Yep. Um. Let's see here. He uh, wasn't at home, right? He was. No. He was in the hospital when he passed. Yeah. Okay, but he's saying he felt at home. You weren't the only person in the room with him. No. There was other people around. Yeah. Okay. And so he wants you to know that he felt at home when he passed. Okay. Um. Still, that feminine energy is with him. There's, there would be a female energy with him, is what he, I think is what they're both coming through together, and that might be my confusion. Okay. Okay. Yep. Um, he's just saying best friend. Okay. Yeah. He's saying best friend, and he's he's valuing the friendship that you guys had. Now, does that make sense? Possibly. Yeah. I mean, how much do you want me to tell you? What Nothing. Is, okay. I don't want you to tell me anything gotcha. until afterwards. Okay. Um, the less I know, the better. Gotcha. Let's see. He's also talking about he was considerably older than you, about 10, 20 years older. Yeah, older, yep. much, yep. Yep, yep. Um, so he's saying he watched you kind of grow and progress throughout the years, okay? He's connected to your dad in, in a way, I feel like. Uh, okay, I'm just going to let you go, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, yep. I, I, I'm not, I'll, 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 if you want me to tell you, I'll tell you. No. I, it, it's probably my dad is what you, who you're talking about. So when he's saying he's connected to your dad, he's saying that he is your dad. Correct. I, yeah, I kind of figured that. Yeah. Um, this is a man that has really, he he stood by you a lot, right? Yeah. He really kind of went to bat for you when nobody else would. Does that make sense? Yep. And he's also talking, he's actually talking about bats. Now he's talking about baseball. Is he a big baseball fan? Not particularly. Not particularly? Now, are you the baseball fan? Because he's talking about baseball and then being a real, like, advocate for it. Real. No. That, does, that doesn't ring a bell with my dad. That's all right. Yeah. Um, could it be a different sport that he's talking yeah. about? Okay, because he's talking about being a really big fan of this one particular sport. I always go to baseball because that's my thing. I love yep. baseball. Yeah. Um, and then having that moment to share with you. Like, that was something that you came together and you bonded with. Now, he played with you in the backyard, right? Mm -hmm. he played with you a lot with this sort of thing. He's throwing things back and yeah. forth with you guys. Yes, yes. Um, and he's saying, say hi to your brother? No. His brother? Nope, he has no brother. I have no brother. He's talking about a brother that's just to say hi to. And he's talking, would your best friend, who would be somebody that you would consider a brother, that he would have known about? Yep. So he's saying say hi to him for me because he would have been connected to him as well and he would have known each other, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yep. So he's saying say hi to him because he would like to hear from him as well. Okay. All right. Um, now, does any George re re recall with him? Is there a George around him or that G name, George Greg? I know George and Greg are very different, but. Oh boy. There's a there's a Greg. There's a Greg. There's a Greg. Okay. Yeah. So he's acknowledging Greg and he just wants you to know that. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Then it makes sense that he would acknowledge Greg? Pot possibly. Possibly. Okay. Um let's see. Now he's talking about you and do you you have an ex-wife? No. <laughs> There's a woman that you used to be with that he is talking about, and he is saying that he is kind of like, he saw you suffer through that. Do you know what he's talking about? Possibly. <laughs> okay, because there's like this woman kind of like really, because he's showing me like a big kind of nasty thing between you two, and he's like, I had to watch him go through all this shit. But this was after he passed. And he's talking about, he was, he, he's been gone quite a while now, hasn't mm -hmm. he? Um, 96? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 97 to be exact. Okay, perfect, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Um, but he wants you to know that he's still always been around, okay? Yeah. He's still always been there for you. He's still always been your advocate. He's always been your best. You know, <laughs> that's why he said best friend, because he's always looked at you as like he was his best I, friend. I, I, I think you're talking about somebody else now. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I think you're talking about a friend of mine named Greg. No shit. Yeah. But it's not uncommon for many spirits to come through at the same time. So if I'm getting dual information, the, 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 that's the, not the, the night he passed, we were supposed to go to a baseball game. <laughs> Right? The yeah. night he passed, we were supposed to go to a baseball game. Okay. We did not go to that baseball game, and for whatever reason, we just decided we weren't going to go. He went home and he passed. I see. Okay? So he was at home. Because he, earlier he, I said that, yeah. He, he was at home when he passed. He was cutting his lawn when he passed. Mm -hmm. um, at that particular junction in my life, he probably was one of my best friends. Perfect. He probably was one of my best friends. It would also make sense that uh, that he would be with your dad. 
possible that they that they are together in this I, I, that, that would that so. that wouldn't shock me mm-hmm. only because I'd be the connection between the two of them mm-hmm. you know what I mean and yep. and I know that when when Greg passed I just felt as though he was always there with me absolutely yeah and he guided me through some um, of my uh, professional career mm-hmm. you know it was very theatrical Right, you know, and, and, and I think he sensed that he was going to die at a young age, relatively young age, because, in, and I used to say to him, I says, Greg, I says, you're going to outlive all of us, you know, and he used to laugh and he's like, yeah, 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 you're probably right, you're probably right, and then when he just passed like that, we were supposed to go, go ahead. Uh, no, so... so- Greg had passed fast because he yeah. had the heart attack. My right. dad was the slow process. My dad was the slow process. My Thank dad you. suffered. Yeah, for about 10 years or so? Well, he suffered for about a month, a month or so in the hospital, he suffered. So what was the 10 come in? It was in the 10th of a month, was it? Yeah, it was, it was May 10th. Perfect. Yeah, All right. it was so May 10th. He's, he's just acknowledging that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. A little bit more proof that he is, is coming through for you. Yeah, and I, I could see where they would possibly uh, pal up on the other side, for for your comfort, to know that yes. they're both together, and that they, that when they when they, when they tra- cross over to the spirit world because of their love for you, that they they kind of connect and they, they let you know that they're together. Yeah, that's okay, cool. For your peace of mind and for yeah. your comfort, um, they absolutely came through to let you know that they love you and they care for you, um, that they're there for you no matter what. They had your back while they were here, and they still have your back no nice. matter what. They guide you through all of the uh, the paranormal investigations that you do, and just even in your personal life, um, especially with your work. They're saying like because sometimes you're just like ah, I know they do. Yeah, I, and so, I know that's Greg. Yeah, and I know that's Greg. Yeah, I totally know. Like he'll he'll put me in the right job at the right time, for whatever reason. Like Perfect. he's he's like on that. Yeah, and just that's know awesome. that, that just know that that's great validation. That's you. awesome. That I really appreciate that. You're very so welcome. cool. So cool. Yeah. I yeah. love it. I yeah. love it. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah, that's cool. <sighs> I want to say a huge thank you to Corey and Jen, the owners of The Conjuring House. We had some incredible activity and also some incredible validation. Join me next time as we continue Soul Searching.